slowed down and got redirected. Got redirected in a straight line? Uh, yes. Okay. At a constant speed? Yes. So my name is Tillman. I'm from Moscow. My favorite subject at school is uh, Chinese. I learned a little bit about Israel because I've traveled there before, but I've never, that was when I was really young and I've never really interacted with somebody from there. I'm Rose, I'm in Seattle. I guess I'll wave. The last couple of years we had like maybe Skype to talk with people and now you can uh, interrupt with them. A big problem you have as a teacher, a big challenge, is to keep everybody interested for the whole time. And in this virtual reality situation, that didn't seem to be a problem. Everybody was completely engaged from the beginning. I washed up here after a shipwreck. Yeah, now I've been living here. I like it here. It was probably the first time I've ever done any sort of theatrical application of them, I guess. So we were applying the forces of motion by using the examples of uh, um, soccer and why the ball moves. I think it was fun. I had a lot of fun. It gives you the immersion, it gives you the feeling of presence. Go! Teaching in VR can get everybody on the same page at once. You have to meet everybody where they're at. Well, you've got somebody to make the object move and you've got someone to interrupt the motion, what could another person be doing? In a way, it was better than a reality situation because there were no distractions. We were all in different rooms, but it didn't matter because we were all together and focused on ourselves. It was just really cool. I can't really get over it. And just being able to work with people halfway across the world. I think it'd be really fun to have this in school because um, you could share your experience with your classmates, but also with other schools from around the world and see how like they study different subjects differently or the same. He knew that he had to get a job, and he got an amazing job while working at a snack factory. Now we were doing this drama game. Let's imagine that all of us are on a very small boat. This was also really cool because we were imagining where we were and we're in the ocean, and a storm is coming. It was easy to communicate, then so you're not realizing that uh, the people are from many miles away from you, and uh, you want to touch them. But... I already went over Newton's law, first law, a lot in school. Well, I had um, what was, what I already knew reiterated. If they're working together on an activity, I think that can uh, help people get to know each other much better. I think it was just incredible to be able to talk to people all the way around the world. You should do more uh, countries with this. There, my favorite subject is history. I think it would be cool, like actually go back and like witness those historical event events in like a VR video or something. Yeah, it was very fun. I'll always remember that. <laughs>